Senator Boxer. Thank you. Um, Mr. Balin, you're a very optimistic man. You're talking about sitting around a table and resolving these things. We tried it with the tobacco companies. You know what it took? They all sat across there at a different venue in Congress, raised their hands, swore to tell the truth, and then lied. And at that point, everyone turned, and things began to happen, and we began to make progress at that point. And I just want to say, we don't ask people to raise their hands because you just need to know, and we all know that you have to tell the truth because of 18 U.S.C. 1001. So I've heard a couple of things here that are not true, and um, I just want to talk about those things. Um, for example, I think, Mr. Healy, you said in your, well, it's true, it's your opinion, this is the greatest invention ever to get people off of the other cigarettes. You said that. Yes, Senator. You did. Well, I ask unanimous consent to place into the record an American Heart Association peer-reviewed scientific journal. Have you seen this, sir? I don't believe I have. Okay, sir. we'll get it to you. We'll put it in the record unless there's objection. It's okay. And here's the deal. It's pretty well peer-reviewed. They say health claims and claims of e efficacy for quitting smoking are unsupported by the scientific evidence to date. And these are leading scientists. So, Mr. Myers, you ought to get a look at this, too because I don't think you were accurate in your response either. I, I need to go on. I don't have time. And I have to make some points here. Now, my two friends from the e-cigarette companies, you believe, I'm sure, that nicotine is dangerous to adolescents. Is that correct? Yes, I do. Do you? Correct. OK. And you're aware that um, the US Surgeon General said nicotine exposure during adolescence may have lasting adverse consequences for brain development and adolescents are particularly vulnerable, vulnerable to this highly addictive drug. So I just am asking you, because you said that you are working to get adults off cigarettes. That's your goal and that's your mission in your companies. Have you ever had a conversation in your company, informally, formally, with another executive, um, about how this product could be marketed to non-smokers? I can say I haven't had that conversation. Did anyone in your company ever have that conversation? Not How that I'm aware of. non -smoker? Not that you're aware of. What about you, Mr. Weiss? Absolutely not. OK. What's in your cigarettes? Tell me, what's in them? Uh, there's nicotine, propylene glycol, glycerin, and flavorings. OK. How about yours? Uh, the same with nicotine and distilled water, I would add to that list. OK. Are you aware that there were some formaldehyde found in e-cigarettes? Yes. We've tested our products, and there's no formaldehyde in the ingredients of our products. How often do you test your products? We test them pretty frequently. And so this story that found <clears throat> for how formaldehyde had nothing to do with your two companies? Sir? Not really? for mine, Senator, no. And not for yours? No, they didn't find any? The New York Times story? Uh, no, the New York Times was not testing our products now. OK. Now, it's unequivocal that you do not market to kids. So here's my question to Mr. Healy. Uh, you sell your products in Cherry Crush and vanilla flavors. Cherry Crush. Yet your parent company has a youth smoking prevention website, your parent company, that says, Kids may be vulnerable to trying e-cigarettes due to an abundance of fun flavors, such as cherry, vanilla, pina colada, and berry. You sell cigarettes in three of those flavors. How can you sit here and say you're not marketing to children? Senator, it's a, it's a good question, and flavors What's I What's the answer? The, the answer is the average age of a, of, a, of a cherry smoker is in the high 40s, but also we've found that flavors in, increase or sorry decrease the ability or possibility of adult smokers who use e-cigs switching back because they don't want to be reminded. Why, whoa, whoa, whoa. why did your parent company in their youth smoking prevention website say kids may be particularly vulnerable to trying e-cigarettes due to abundance of fun flavors such as cherry, vanilla, pina colada, and berry, and you sell them in three of the flavors? Are you marketing to children? No, I am not. So who's attracted to uh, cherry, berry, vanilla? Who's attracted to that? A Adults? Adult smokers, yes. They are. That's interesting. And, and I would like to say to Mr. Weiss, even though your parent company called you out on it, 
Uh, Mr. Weiss, your company previously committed to not sell e-cigarettes and flavors. Now Wall Street investors report you're going to be offering 10 new flavors and more to come. What are these flavors? Can you mention them? Sure. Um, there's a variety of flavors, but pomegranate's one. Um, we have adult flavors like single malt scotch, for an example. Um, I, I would say you that have adult flavors as opposed to your kids' flavors. Well, for example, we're not offering cotton candy or gummy bear. Oh, or wonderful! Some of the flavors what are you that, offering? What are you the list of your ten? Do you have them there? Um, I don't have it listed here. I could probably remember them off the top of my head. Go ahead. Uh, so, uh, in addition, there's um, uh, uh, vanilla bean. Um, there's also um, uh, peach tea. Um, there's also um, uh, uh, Sir, since I don't have time because my time is very limited, would you make that available before the end of the day? Yeah, no, of course. Okay. And I want to just show the flavors that we see in e-cigarettes. I don't know the flavors Mr. Weiss is now coming up with since he said before he wasn't going to. But I'm just going to ask our advocacy people here, the two at the end. Um, you think cotton candy is something that's attractive to children or adults? I would argue that cotton candy would be attractive to children. Uh, what about gummy bears, Mr. Myers? Um, I would agree, and the evidence shows that's to be the case. And, and it's popsicle. Okay. So for e-cigarettes as an industry to proclaim that they're not advertising to kids and they're choosing these flavors, we don't know yet Mr. Weiss's flavors, and we've now heard that cherry and berry, even though your parent company said that they attracted kids, you don't think they attract kids. You're wrong. You're wrong. And let's look at some of the advertisements. Could somebody help us? Thank you. These are cartoons. They're not by your companies, other companies. I want to say to my children's advocacy people, uh, do those look like they're aimed at children or adults? Senator Boxer, I would agree that those uh, that would be Papa Smurf, and that would look like it would be appealing to children as there's movies that are uh, featuring the Smurfs. And, and as a grandma, I could attest to the fact that the biggest movie now is Frozen, and the biggest song is Let It Go, and one of the e-cigarettes has as their logo, Let It Glow. Now, I am saying to my chairman, whom I adore, whether it's his birthday or not his birthday, on every day, I share his views on this. And I'm asking Mr. Weiss and Mr. Hilly to look into your heart. You can sit and say whatever you want. You can con yourself into thinking what you know. We don't know if this product gets people off cigarettes yet. It's not proven, number one. So don't think that you're doing some great mission. And then don't say that you really care about kids when you go against your own parent company's advice and start using these flavors. I have some of these flavors here. I'm not supposed to touch them because they're like poison. Seriously. Pink. What is this one? Pink spot. Gummy bear pink spot. Rocket pop. Cotton candy. We are seeing a repeat. And we here in this committee get it. And I'm just saying, I have a lot of other questions I'll put forward for the record. But I think all of this is very important. And I know the people in the industry, you can talk yourselves into everything. When I was a young woman, doctors said, smoke a cigarette, it will calm you down. Thank God my mother said, not on your life. Don't be a part of this, because you'll regret it. 